Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Tina. So, look at this in front of me. We're gonna open this box today. It is the biggest box I've ever gotten. Look at that. Huge. 50 pounds, guys. This is definitely gonna take us a while. I can't wait to get into it. So I did end up showing you this in the last video because um, it arrived while I was filming the last video, but I was able to resist the urge to open it right then because I wanted to just keep filling, filming. And now it is the same day, but nighttime. And we're gonna get into it. So let's see what it looks like in there. I have a feeling it's gonna be a box inside of a box, but we'll see. Can't believe this. I've never ever gotten it. Okay, yep. <laughs> I had a feeling a box inside of a box. Okay. There's my receipt. Okay, give me a second. I gotta remove the box in front of inside of the box. All right, I definitely made a big mistake. Didn't check that I was recording already. <laughs> I swear I didn't touch nothing yet, but I did un, I did open it. So here's the box inside of the box. I accidentally was not recording when I opened it. Um, but let's take a peek. Got some bubble wrap. Uh huh. Whoa, look at all that, guys. All right, let me bring my light over closer. Perfect. And this one, I've got two lights. All right, wow. So, yeah, this is definitely going to take us a while to get through. Hmm. Maybe Bakelite. Maybe we finally found some. We'll have to test that one. Wow. So many things. We are going to have some fun, guys. Yay, yay. All right. So I just dumped it onto its side. And as you can see, there's quite a bit in there. It's exciting. So if I sound a little raspy, um, I have been a little under the weather. Um, my throat's been bugging me. It might be allergies because nobody else in my house is sick, but I apologize. I do want to get this video going though um, because after I had opened this box, I wasn't feeling too well. So this is actually a different day today that I'm filming. It's a different day. So anyway, this is a 50 pound box, shopgoodwill.com. Um, so I'm hearing lately they don't want us to reveal the location. Um, I've heard other people say that, so I'm not gonna say where, what location, but this is a location that I previously got a really good box from. This one was pretty much titled Necklace Bracelet. So we're probably not going to encounter very many earrings or rings. There may be a few that slipped in the cracks, but we'll see. So first up, I have this really cute pink um, just stretch bracelet. It's really cute. The stretch is good. And I think you can adjust the size here. So that's cool, too. That's cute. And here's a big faux pearl stretch bracelet. The stretch is good. Um, I did not measure the last one. This one's sitting at six and a quarter, but it is stretch. So, and this one also has the stretch in the, I think you can make it smaller as well. This one's sitting at also, well, six inches. So it's kind of a lot smaller than that one. Ooh, look at this. 
Okay, we're also going to run into a lot of tangles because it is um, a lot of necklaces. So whatever is really super tangled, I'm probably going to put it off to the side and detangle it off camera. But I'm already seeing a lot of really pretty things. Here's a gold tone chain. Oh, I think I do see something on the clasp. I'm not sure, but we'll look in the microscope. It's kind of thick. Not super long. So it's about um, 19 inches long. And let's see if this clasp does say something. I thought I saw something right there. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. So it says 1 20th 12 karat gold filled. So. So this one's 12 karat gold filled. Very nice. Now this is jade. I'm sure we can test it on the gem tester. Very pretty. So I know that jade... Um, it depends on prices based on a few things I've been re I've been watching videos about it, but I still don't know all about Jade. So I don't know how much this one is worth. I mean, they can range from $20 to $6,000, but I think the more expensive ones are the very, very dark, dark green, I think. So I'm not sure about this one. It has the white green. It's not a light, light, light green, but it's in the medium light green range with some white tones in there. I don't see any black flakes. And let's see where it tests on the Persidium. Okay. Okay, whoops, slipped guys, sorry. Alright, so either my gem tester needs to be um, calibrated or this is just glass because jadeite is way up there and it's only going to glass so um, let's just see if it's calibrated make sure. Okay, so I'm going to calibrate this really fast. One, one moment. Um, so I decided I'm going to calibrate this in front of you just in case some people are curious about how to do it. You have to stick something in this hole right here to get it started. And then when it's flashing blue, you put the pen on the calibration until it beeps. And next we're gonna do glass. When the light turns green. And then it should beep again. There we go. And that's it. Um, now we just have to wait for it to uh, be ready. And then we can test the bracelet. gonna put my diamond on here real quick yeah okay this was not Jade guys I thought it was but it it is clearly not oh and if anybody's interested it is a seven and a half so if anybody's interested in anything you see here you can email me the email is linked in the description um, of this video down below and also my eBay is linked down there um, if you don't see it on eBay you can just message me and ask me um, about that item so here's a really pretty necklace I don't see any makers marks though 
it is gold tone lobster claw clasp um, with a lot of fringe chains and beads oranges and peach oranges and pinks it's really actually very pretty I kind of like it yeah that's nice it's in really good condition I like this one and it is 18 inches so that's nice I'm gonna retest that bracelet again later I don't know I mean it's cold so I feel like it's something more than glass but we'll see I'm not seeing any makers marks on these but these beads are so pretty I'm not sure if you can see that blue like almost like it's not translucent but there's like a glow on these beads like a glow really pretty and they graduate to bigger and bigger and bigger it is very pretty it's not just a regular um, beaded necklace I mean it's different and beautiful very very pretty I like that one spring ring clasp 20 inches long on that one very nice and another stretch bracelet with this little charm dangling it doesn't say anything there's one on each end you just have some plastic beads and some silver tone not real metal or nothing I think that's all plastic and there's some of the wire here which needs to be snipped but I'm probably not gonna list this one so I'm not gonna measure it it is pretty more like a yard sale type or craft I think a crafter would be happy to get this we'll see this one's pretty gold tone cuff bracelet I don't see any markings but it is really pretty um, there is some wear right here this might just be might just be dirty I can't tell if this is dirt I'll try to clean it up and if I can I might list this one because it's beautiful and if I can't then it will go either in the craft or my yard sale pile and this one is measuring it an eight and it's a little bit it's not really adjustable smaller I do see some wear in here and I don't know it could just be dirt so this may not get listed but it's beautiful um, I'm so excited about this box just a bangle and another plastic bangle oh, let's see I don't want to pull too hard guys because there's so much stuff in here I'm afraid I'll break a chain or something so this looks like wood wooden beads but painted like a coral color uh, let's see if there's a clasp not seeing one so I'll have to unclasp this one if there's a clasp let's see sorry it's all tangled up okay I got it yeah I think these are just wooden painted coral color but I will look it up because to be honest I'm not sure what real coral would look like so they feel wooden to me but we'll see um, and this one is 26 inches long there's no clasp and it's actually quite pretty because it has the bigger beads on the outside 
medium in the b between and then the small in the inside so and they're all linked together with thread so it's quite interesting I like it and then we have a beautiful cross bracelet with this faux coin um, Elizabeth Australia 1981 half dollar um, this beautiful cross which I can try to clean in my ultrasonic it's amazing sometimes how well these things come out in the ultrasonic cleaner these do feel like real pearls um, no sorry they're not Oh, look at this cute clasp. There's a little heart there. I'm not really sure if this is um, a particular brand. I bet you it is. I'm going to look into it, though. Um, This is really super cute. Oh, maybe it's an anklet because it's going past past my measure. Let's see what it... Um, well, it does have... No, it has an extension, too. So, I had it all the way extended, that's why. It's a seven plus two, so if you clip it here, it's a seven. And then if you clip it here, it's a nine. And I'm gonna try to clean this up and polish it, see if I can make it look beautiful. And if not, it might go in craft. I really apologize about my voice, guys hoping it'll be better soon but it's much better than two days ago because two days ago I couldn't talk at all I could only whisper and all I could think about was my video oh my goodness I just got this 50 pound box and I can't even record I was sad so I'm gonna come back to this one all right, so I had to do a little bit of untangling on this one, but it's super long and I'm not seeing a clasp, but look at these beautiful, beautiful beads. So pretty. Oh man, so pretty. They're painted. The bigger ones are painted. You can double this because it's very long. Might even be able to triple it I don't know but there's what it looks like doubled super pretty I love the beads and it's very very long like I said so we're looking at hmm, eight fifty eight inches long Wow. very nice Look at that. So long. But I love these beads. So pretty. Each one is painted. I don't think they're hand painted, but um, they're really pretty. So this is not going to be listed. It's just beads. Um, I don't even know if you could craft with them. Not really sure. So we'll see you where I'm going to put those, but I'm not listing them. And these are sea beads. This one's broken, but this one will go into my craft lot. Lots of beads to work with there. I have another gold chain. Um... This one has no markings. It's this herringbone style chain. I have quite a few of these, so I don't know if I'm gonna list it. Um, I might use it in the yard sale. This one's 18 inches. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of these listed already. So if you were looking for one, I'm pretty sure I have some on my eBay already. stretch bracelet 
not in great shape. I'm, this is going to go in a craft. This one has really interesting beads. I just want to really quick test them. Okay, nothing. Nothing. They're so interesting looking. <laughs> There's like little, almost like the moon has craters. So these black ones have craters and then the blue ones are smooth. But I did test them and they're not, whoop, hold on. Actually it is moving. Let me bring him over. I thought these looked like something, these blue ones. It is testing garnet, tourmaline, iolite, or glass. It could be glass. And these black ones are not are not moving. Okay. There's also spacers in between that are metal, tiny metal discs. So I just want to get my magnet real quick and see if they're magnetic. I don't think they are. It's hard to tell though because the bead is in the way. So I don't feel a draw. I might want to test these beads, but we'll see about that. And this one is a six and a quarter, almost a six and a half. This is really pretty, but it is missing one black stone which is a shame I'm actually gonna hold on to this because this one would be okay for me to glue back in I know I said I'm really bad at that in a previous video but when they're larger like this it's easier what I have trouble with is these itty bitty ones I just have trouble getting those itty bitty ones in there but if I can find this one I might be able to fix this and this is so pretty look at this five layers this is not anything wrong with the bracelet here. It's just somebody had a tag on it. So I'm going to take that off. This is what the back looks like. And I actually love this bracelet. This is going to be a tough one to measure. <laughs> so I think, I think it's about a seven. Because it's sitting right here, the center of it. So it's probably a seven stretch and I really want to find that I might even keep this even with that missing so we'll see I love this I really do um probably gonna go into craft we have some more bangles not seeing any markings. Here's another one. I'm probably going to run into a lot of bangles. How did you get crooked? Okay. This is, um, the stretch is okay on this one. Not really worth listing, but I might keep it for my yard sale. Ooh. Not really on a pull on this, but this already looks interesting. I just don't want to pull on it. Okay, this stretch is way bad. So I'm going to give it to a crafter. A lot of harvesting there. Uh, what are you? Okay, this is in pretty bad, rough shape. So... This is also going to be in the craft lot. They might be able to do something with that chain. Holy moly. Holy moly. Now that's a statement necklace. Oh my goodness. So there's a faux coin here. Half 
Penny, 1967. Um, it's Elizabeth again. Wow, okay, this is a statement for sure. I'm not seeing a maker's mark, but sometimes when you Google Lens it, it will tell you who it is. So, holy moly, this thing is massive. Oops, sorry guys. Let me just tip this up a pinch. Having trouble with um, the thing that holds my phone. It's a little loose. So there is an extension, but I'm going to clip it here. Um, I don't even know if this is going to fit on my mannequin because it's so chunky. So I'm just going to hold it. That is massive. So these are like silver tone, huge ball beads with little heart lockets dangling all the way around. This is super cute. It's kind of heavy though, so if you have any kind of neck or back problems, it's not for you. Holy moly. And so I'm not going to measure the extension yet. The actual necklace is um, 31 inches. And then you have another 6 inch ex extension to hook it onto. So wow. Check that out. That is crazy. Let me just tip it down. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Massive. Okay. So I'm seeing a leather bracelet with um, crosses. This one's in rough shape. But maybe somebody can use the leather or some of these crosses. So I'm going to put this into craft. Um, this is a wire on a wire. But it's not in great shape either. So somebody can harvest these beads. I think they're acrylic. The wire is in bad shape though. The beads are fine. This is one of those, it's not copper, it's silver. Pretty rough shape also. I'm not gonna be listing this one. Oh, look at this one. Okay, so I see some glue here. Somebody attempted to fix this. Glue here. But if you're not looking closely at the glue, oh, I see what happened here. <laughs> okay. It actually fell apart. Just kidding. It is pretty, but it does need to be repaired. So this is also a very nice piece that's going to be in the craft. Somebody can probably put different stones up here. It would be so pretty. The bracelet's in great shape. If you put different stones on the top and the bottom, or even just fix the strip here, I think this would be a really, really pretty bracelet. You could probably really elevate that one. Not on a stretch. This one has a lobster claw clasp. Probably gonna go into craft as well, cause that's pretty worn. But there's a lot of beads here, so. All right, let's see what else. Hmm, interesting. Now this is something. I wonder if this is horn or something. I don't know. On a leather. 
um, string chain. It's not a chain, it's leather. You can make it shorter here or longer. The leather strap though is in decent shape. It's not horrible. But where you could just take these off and put them on a different chain if you love the pendant. It's pretty interesting. I don't see any markings. And I'm going to measure it to its longest length. Because you can actually adjust it as small as you want on this leather thing. So we're looking at 32 inches at the longest. And whatever length you want to go to, you just pull this. And there we go. I don't know what this is. Interesting. Let's see. So here's a bundle of bracelets. They're, I still have a ribbon attached. So I'm guessing they're new. I can definitely sell these, but I don't think I'm going to list them. If any of you wants them, you can let me know. I will sell them as a set. And, oh, that's definitely in craft. But there's some really cute beads there. So these really cute beads will be in craft and on my floor. All right, next. This is interesting. They're wavy gold tone pieces dangling off gold beaded necklace with an extension. It's in really good shape and it does have this maker's mark. It looks like a C and a backward C. Um, so I'll look that up. Do not know off the top of my head. I think I'll try to link it above in words if I find out anything. Fifteen plus two and a two and a half. Three. Fifteen plus three inches on that one. So that's interesting. There is a maker's mark. I just have to look it up. We have some shell with a barrel clasp and white beads there near the clasp. Don't see any markings. And this one is um, 15 inches with a barrel clasp. I don't want to pull too hard. What are you? Whoa, what are you? Oh, man, look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. So, it's a bracelet. At first I thought it was a watch band. But I know there's probably no watches in this lot. And there is a marking right here. What does it say? Holy cow, guys. I'm pretty sure that says 18K. Let me get my microscope. That is insane if that's true. Let's see. What? 18K? Uh-uh, no way. Um, on the other end... Hold still. Okay, so it says Italy. And I'm not seeing anything else. Um, so I'm going to actually pause the video and look this up. 
because I'm having a difficult time actually believing that this is 18k it's beautiful so it, it clasps here and then it has little safety clasps here and everything is beautiful and in working condition and I kind of love it um, there's no way so this one's sitting at about a six and three quarter. Yeah, holy cow. This thing is gorgeous. That's the back. Okay, I'm going to be right back because I'm going to try to find something out about this. That's insane. I'm really kind of stumped on this bracelet. So I looked it up and I saw the same exact bracelet, same exact stamp. I'm trying not to get too excited about this because I kind of don't believe it. But it had the same exact 18K and Italy stamp. And they're saying it's gold plated, but it does not say gold plated. So, I don't know. Like, I'm really confused. It says 18K. Um, it's beautiful, whatever it is. But I'm trying not to get too excited about it because online, the same exact bracelet, they're saying it's, you know, most I've seen was $200. Um, and all the way up to $200 I was seeing. But if this was real 18 k it would be three to $6,000. So I might actually bring this in to a jeweler for them to tell me if this is authentic or not. Um, pretty stumped about it. I'm, I'm not trying to get too excited about it. I will let you know in a future update what I find out about it. I just don't know what to make of it. That's why I had to stop the video and do a little research. But it is beautiful. Whatever it is. I mean, even $200 would be nice, but I mean, I'm not going to let it go for $200 if it's worth, if it's actually 18 k Maybe the reason it's plated, maybe it's because this is mesh. I don't know. I really just don't know. So I'll let you know about this one. Also, if you need to know, it is a size six and three quarters. Beautiful. I actually really love this bracelet. I'm just really, I don't get it. And I don't want to get all excited and then just find out it's not worth anything. So I will be excited after I go to the jeweler and they tell me it's real. Anyway, we're going to move on from this. We'll see what happens with that. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We still have so much more to do. Let's see if I can pull anything out. I don't want to pull too hard. Um, but I would like to look at some something other than bracelets right now. Here's something. A little pine cone, gold tone, with a gold tone chain. Spring ring clasp. And I don't think I see any markings but I'll look at it closer when I'm cleaning it so it's just a gold tone chain I don't see anything on the pine cone either let's see so it is magnetic um, so it's probably not gold and this one is 24 inches long. It's cute. Super cute. 
also I did a little investigating on this logo and I really can't tell what it is because at first I got excited because I thought it was Chanel but the more I looked at the Chanel logo this does not look like the Chanel logo it does but it doesn't so it's probably just a knockoff because the Chanel logo the C's don't have that little bubble at the ends of the C and also the interlocking where they interlock there the Chanel logo has an empty space, a big empty space. So I do not think this is Chanel. I just still don't know what it is. But I also did look this up while I stopped the recording. If anybody out there does know, just leave a comment. I would love to hear what you think. Um, here's a cute bracelet. Some silver tone hearts. And the clasp is super cute. Let's see. Oh, it's a magnet. That's interesting. That's cool. It's a magnet. And it is magnet. Oh, that's the magnet, duh. It is magnetic. And this one is very pretty. A six and three quarters. I like that one beautiful um don't see really anything wrong with it i mean i'll clean it up but it's nice and shiny and not a lot of wear so that's nice i think this one is broke something missing there um i don't want to pull hard but i want necklaces let's see um, so I did have to detangle this, a couple of these, um, before I started the video because the very first bracelet that I showed was tangled up with these guys. This one, I'm not sure if it's a real pearl or not. Little kitty ears, that's cute, right? This is what the back looks like. And then this chain... It's really worn looking, but I do think I see something and we're going to look in the microscope because when I was detangling and I thought I saw something yeah it's 925 so sometimes 925 does tarnish but um this will actually clean up really nice I think if I put it in my ultrasonic cleaner and then clean it with my silver polishing cloth so this is nice Let's see what size it is. 16 plus one and a half. So that's cute. I like the little kitty ears. Um, so this will come right off the top. This is one of those, I think, Hawaiian necklaces. I believe it's, it's really cute. It has a black ribbon tied and it looks perfectly new and unworn it's pretty very pretty I think these are some kind of nuts and they're hollow they don't feel very heavy and this one is um, 32 33 inches Really cute. I like it. I like that one. This is cute too. Another pull string to make it smaller. And these beads are dirty, but I believe they're natural stone. Yeah, they have just some dirt on them, that's all. Some junk is on them. Let's see what they test as. Um, yeah. They are... Garnet, tourmaline, or iolite. But they also could be glass. But I have a feeling these are real stones. Very pretty. You can make it bigger. Or smaller. So... 
at the smallest, it's a six and a half. And then at the largest, whoa, it's pretty big, probably a nine. So I'm pretty sure this would fit most people. Unless you have an itty bitty teeny weeny hand. It's really pretty. I like the blue with the white speckles in there. And another bangle. If somebody wanted bangles, like I have a bunch. If you wanted like a bunch of bangles, you could just let me know. Otherwise, I'll be selling them at my yard sale or putting them in the craft lot. So this is um, like a snake chain, but it's also intertwined with another gold tone chain. Kind of twisted up. It's kind of pretty. But I'm not seeing any markings at all. Just a gold bead at the end. And it does have an extension. It's kind of tiny. Looking at about 11 plus 3. So 11 to 14 inches on that. And let's see. It is... This part's not magnetic, but this part is. But the extension usually is. So I don't see any markings. We'll see about this. I'm trying to see if this gold tip right here. All right, I might want to test this. I don't know. Maybe I'll test this one too later. I'll put it the, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe at the end of this video. Um, another bangle. This one's pretty worn. It's really pretty though. If it wasn't so worn out. Um, okay, so it opens like that. This one's going into craft for sure. There's paint missing. Somebody can fix it. This is a leather pull string. Um, bracelet. I don't think I'll be listing it, but if somebody's interested, you can let me know. For now, it's gonna probably go in... It's in pretty good shape. I'll go in my yard sale pile, maybe. Oh, this is... Oh, I like this. Cute. Okay, so... They have a lot of these in this box, seems like. So you can pull it to make it smaller, just like the bracelets were bigger. And I do see something here. Oh, it's Lucky Brand, cool. So this is a Lucky Brand. And Silver Chain is in great shape. This is the part I love. It flips. So you have like abalone, faux abalone on one side. And then, I don't know if that's supposed to be faux opal. I don't know, probably not. Super cute though, this part needs to be cleaned up. And then you have the little chain tassel at the bottom. That's neat. <laughs> I like it. You guys know me, I like different things. And I've never seen this one before so I'm gonna make it to the longest that I can make it and measure it but here's what it looks like on there beautiful or you can flip it so it's two for one pretty cool so at the longest this one is 27 inches and I like it do it's really neat sorry guys my voice is terrible I know um this is very worn looking also some of the links are broken 
the chains um these little pieces and this doesn't look great either the chain is pretty worn and this is um open filigree and hollow in the center it would have been pretty but it's pretty broken so this is gonna go into my craft a lot like a necklace pendant with a leaf and a little locket so that's kind of cute copper tone I don't usually list the pendants until I find a chain so we have an Alex and Ani made with love with the letter R Alex and Ani plus energy. It does need to be cleaned up. Pretty sure. Um, I think that Alex and Ani is sterling. So um, it most likely is, which means that this will clean up nice. And I will see if it cleans up nice, I will list it. It is very nice. Oops, what am I doing? My goodness. It is a seven and a half, right before seven and three quarter. And of course, they're a little bit of adjust, adjustable there. I'm gonna try to clean this one up because it's really nice. And, and usually the stainless, the sterling silver, I can usually clean it up super simple. If it wasn't sterling, sometimes it's not so easy to clean up because then they they just sometimes look worse. This bracelet's beautiful. Rhinestones all the way around. I'm hoping there's none missing. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah, I like this one. Each panel, well, they alternate. So there's two different panels all the way around. There's this one and this one. Very pretty. The stretch is pretty good. Um, not seeing any markings, but it's still beautiful. I really like this one, and I'm not seeing any stones missing, so that's good. And this one, <coughs> excuse me six and a half so I'll clean this one up too and I may list this one because I actually really like it there's like enamel inlay in there behind all the little rhinestones and it's in super good shape it just needs to be cleaned up so I'm happy about that one stretch bracelet um I have like so many of these type so this one's gonna go into craft for a crafter. What are you? Why would the pendant hook be on the bottom of you? I'm confused. Anybody know why this would be on the bottom? Because if you put a chain through there, he'd be upside down. Hmm, do not know. I have no idea about this one. I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't even know what to say about it. It's cute. Huh. Don't see any kind of marks. It's definitely different and interesting. What else can we get? Ooh, what are you? This one's kind of pretty. Ooh, look at that purple. Beautiful. Does this one have a mark? Oh, yeah, this is a Coro. Coro, yeah. I've run into this brand in another different box, so I've heard of this brand. And this is beautiful. Oops, I don't think it hooks there. One sec, sorry. 
think it hooks here. Go. Wow. Look at those purple. I don't know what they are. Um, not gems. So they're probably acrylic or plastic. Um, if I look this up, though, it'll probably say what it is. Wow, that is really pretty. I love that. This one I really do like a lot. And it's in really good shape. And look at the chain, how pretty that is. So pretty. I love it. Very nice. I keep losing my tape measure sorry it's very small though it's only um 13 inches with so there's no extra extension you could probably add one though if you needed it to be longer they sell them I don't have any on me but I think they're pretty easy to get okay so this is gonna be a big tangle mess here so I'm going to skip all of that. Got another stretch bracelet with faux pink pearls. And another pendant that probably fell off of something. Not missing anything and it's really pretty. I like that. Probably fell off of a chain. And here's a necklace. The Ooh, nice circle full of rhinestones very blingy a really delicate snake chain not delicate but not super thick and i don't see any markings on the clasp but it's still very very pretty and dainty looking and not very long, only 14 inches. Uh, I think I can get this one. I don't want to pull too hard though. No. Um, yeah, maybe. Yep, I got it. Hey, I got a bonus one too. That has three eyes, which is weird. <laughs> I think this is a brand though it might be a brand I don't know and it has the pull cord but the thing about this one well I don't know what this is but other than that the it's in really good shape you can make it small or large I guess this is in good shape I saw Something right here, but I don't know what it is, but I think it might just be melted plastic from when they were making it. Or glue, maybe? I don't know. That's cute. And here's this one that I just pulled out. Um, so this one is broke. And I do see something there. It says something. Uh, can't read it. Wait a minute. Huh. Thought I just saw the actual. Oh! Okay, so it is broke. But not as badly as I had imagined. Because this is the clasp right here. So really... It's only broken right there. This would probably be a really easy fix. I don't know if I would be the one to be able to fix it. So this is still probably going to go in the craft. Anyway, let's just see what brand it says here. Just in case somebody really wants it for crafting. Because this is an easy fix. It just says Japan. But this would be, oop, oh, yep, just Japan. This would be a pretty easy fix. 
if somebody was interested and wanted it for craft or well, for now I'm just going to put it in my large craft bin but if you're interested let me know and I can send it to you. Okay so real quick before um, we move on because I don't want to run out of time before I can test these things. I like to do it on camera because it's fun. Um, so I am curious about this because I don't think I used the magnet in front of you. But it is not magnetic. Only, only this part is, which is the extension. So I'd like to test that. trying to figure out where I guess well this is probably not anything but yeah and it looks pretty copper well maybe I don't know I might actually test this one for 925 first so let me just get out the 18k and it disappeared it was blue so that's not not sterling now let's do for gold we're gonna start with 10k and we already did the 18k so we'll do 10 and then 14 Definitely not. I only put a little tiny pinch on the first scratch. I should have put more. But where I did put it did disappear. So it's not gold or silver. So this one's eliminated. Um, I'd like to try this chain right there. This part's magnetic, but that's only the extension. But I would like to try this chain. I'm only going to test it for 10. And if it doesn't eat it up, we'll go to 14. Yeah. Um, it's pretty decent pretty much disappeared also so this one is not gold either and I pretty much know this is not gold it can't be there's no way so the clasp right here is magnetic but this part is not there's no way because gold isn't this yellow of a color usually We'll start with 10K. See what happens. Yeah. So it is slowly disappearing also. All right, so that last one was also not gold. Um, that is all the time we have for today. I do want to thank you if you were able to stay watching with my crackly voice. <laughs> thank you for watching, and we will see you soon. We still have tons to go through. This box is going to last a long, long time. Um, hopefully my voice is better in the next video, but... I'm still going to keep on trucking as long as I can talk. Like two days ago, I couldn't even talk. I could only whisper. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.